Welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. I recently asked my Twitter followers, what is the greatest challenge facing amateur radio in 2024? And guess what you all said? A lot of you said this right here, noise on the bands. Well, guess what? There is a solution, a ham solution. Yes, I love this. A project called RM Noise, which is using AI and neural networks to help reduce noise on the bands and amateur radio for voice in CW signals. This is one of the coolest things I've seen in amateur radio software in a number of years. Let's check it out. All right, wait, wait, wait. I know what you're thinking. What is a neural network? Now, we're going to keep it super high level. Neural networks are not new. They've been around for a long time. Their application in amateur radio, though, is certainly new, and that's what's got me so excited. Neural networks are just a way of using artificial intelligence to basically simulate the way a brain functions. And neural networks are in use all over the place, all around us that you probably don't even realize from the financial sector and using neural networks and learning for looking for fraud at scale to Amazon and dynamic pricing uh, to healthcare and improving healthcare decisions. They are used all over the place. But finally, amateur radio reducing noise. That's what's got me excited. And in this video, we're going to check out how to set it up in my case with the ICOM 7300, how to send in your first audio samples to the neural network and just how it works. So stick around for all of that. First, let's get into the setup. All right, let's take a look at the settings on the ICOM 7300. And let me tell you, I was pleasantly surprised when I first opened RM Noise. It worked seamlessly without me touching a thing. I was just running FT8 before I was actually opening RM Noise. I opened it and it was just like, boom, I didn't have to touch one setting. So it's very, very easy and simple. But let's take a look at the 7300 here. And I'm going to make myself just a little bit smaller for you. There we go, much better. Let's go ahead and take a look at those settings here on the radio. We're gonna go into set. Uh, we're gonna take a first look here at connectors. So I'm gonna scroll up to the top. Uh, none of this stuff we see here on page one is really gonna make any bit of difference here. Uh, here are my output levels in terms of USB modulation. Um, it's just set slightly above the default, so 52, no big deal there. Uh, data off mod is mic, data mod is USB, but more importantly, let's take a look at CIV. So I have a baud rate set to auto. I have the CIV address at the standard 94H as is standard on all ICOM radios. I have transceive set to on. We take a look down here. We have the CIV USB port as unlinked from remote and then baud rate is for auto and USB echo back is set to off. So if you're used to running your 7300 with digital and using the uh, USB audio code that's exactly what you're going to be using in this case. So that's the settings here on the ICOM side of things. Now let's go over to the RM Noise program and see what those settings are. All right, here we are inside of RM Noise and the options menu. Let's first take a look at the uh, input and output devices. Now it's important that you have Microsoft Sound Mapper as your choice. That is what works with me uh, in the ICOM 7300. So make sure you have MME, Microsoft Sound Mapper, set as your input and output. Before we go any further in this menu, let's also take a look at how my sound mixer settings look on my PC. All right, so here is my volume mixer. Uh, you'll notice that I have it set for the output to my speakers, which are just my computer speakers and the real tech audio. Uh, and then under the input device up here, you'll see I have microphone set to USB audio codec. Again, if you're used to playing around with digital and the ICOM 7300, that'll be very familiar with you. Uh, so again, make sure it's a USB audio codec as the input device. That's gonna be the audio coming from your radio, piping in to your computer. All right, now back in the options menu of RM Noise, just a couple things to point out. Uh, I have my max audio buffer set to 50 milliseconds. The default is 200. You can play around with that and see if there's any difference for you in delay. The other thing to look at is the recording description area. Now, one of the things that you will want to do, but you don't have to do to make this work, is you're going to want to do a 30-minute recording of your noise floor. Now, I would recommend you do it on all the bands on HF that you use, but what, there's some key things you have to know. You don't want to pick up like 
weird noises in your area, like maybe you have power line noise or someone's got a pulsing uh, transformer from some kind of device in their house. You don't want that. You want raw noise floor and you want 30 minutes of it. You don't want to hear anything else. You don't want to hear uh, CW signals, SSB signals, nothing. You just want noise for 30 minutes. When you set up your station to do that, just go ahead and click on start a recording right here and click that checkbox and it will start running for 30 minutes then automatically send it to the neural network server once it is done. So when you do that, you have to put a name up here. So I might put something like my call sign K0LWC. I might put in something like dipole at 60 feet and then 20 meters just something for them to help distinguish and understand what it is so they can just maybe categorize it better on their end again you don't have to do that for this to work out of the box but you're definitely going to want to do it because it's going to help you and it's going to help everybody else for you to train that neural network to be even smarter all right, I have my ICOM 7300 uh, sitting here on 3930 on a Friday night. Boy, that's a scary proposition. We don't know what we're going to hear on this band this time of night, but we're going to go with it. But first, let's jump into the RM Noise Client. So here you'll see this is the main uh, screen of the software. Up on top, we do have an AI filter dropdown. Now, you'll notice I have number one selected, which is the current best AI filter for SSB voice signals. Uh, well, you're going to want to make sure that that your radio is set for 2.8K uh, in terms on the filter, and you wanna have your noise blanker and noise reduction turned off on your radio. Those are gonna be important. Now, if you want to do maybe CW or FM voice, there are AI filters for those as well, but I'm doing SSB and 75 and 80, so uh, AI filter number one, it is. On the lower left-hand corner, we have info, graph, and options. We've already been in the options menu in this video. That's probably the only one you really are gonna carry to concern yourself with. In the middle, we do have a volume slider. You can also use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard to uh, toggle that up and down. Then we have mute, bypass, and live. Now, live's kind of neat because it'll jump you back to live audio. This actually records, so you can go back in time and re-listen to stuff. That's kind of neat. Um, the mute does exactly what you think it would do, and bypass simply bypasses the filter. Now, on the left-hand side, this is how you actually control the uh, amount of filtering applied to the signal. So here you'll see we have about 0.7. I've been finding the sweet spot for me is like 0.7 to like 0.85, uh, somewhere in there. Yours may be different. Keep this in mind, though. If you're working weak signals and you're just trying to clean up some noise to get better intelligibility, that 0.6 to 0.85 is probably where you're going to want to play around at. Uh, if you're in a really strong rag chew on 75 and 80 with like really strong signals, you might be able to get away with like a high 8 or well into the 9s, maybe even a 1.0 all the way up. Um, because again, if you have weak signals mixing with noise, uh, going all the way to 1 might cause those signals to be filtered out as well. So keep Keep that in mind play around with that slider again i think the butter zone is like 0.7 to like 0 0.85 0 0.9 somewhere in there but you can play around and see what you think let's go ahead and bring the audio in here from 3930 all right so we're currently bypassed i have no filtering it is completely bypassing the ai filtering altogether right now just so you can get a sense of what it sounds like all right now let's turn our filter on Metal Just listen to that. Wanna, you don't want to cause too much body damage. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. Just listen to how much noise gets picked up out of that thing. Let's go ahead and turn it up to a higher value. Keeping those airplanes in the in the air in Vietnam. Look at all the people they killed. Yep. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Oh man, projection of force with those aircraft. And back on. That was what a massive yeah, difference. Now, targeting. these are some pretty strong signals. Let's go ahead and try to turn it up really high. They took the targeting from whoever was on the ground, guiding them in. Danger close. Under Just listen to that. Absolutely incredible. Let's turn it off again. In Vietnam, uh, Han? Slow followers. One thing we had to do was go to Canada. That is just absolutely phenomenal. And of course, thanks for the great color commentary from 3930 here. So you can hear just how absolutely amazing this works. I mean, this is a game changer if you live in an urban or suburban noise floor environment. This is going to change the way you operate. 
So are you going to download this? Let me know in the comments what is your experience with this. I am so excited to share this with you. Um, this is one of the best pieces of software that I have found. So don't forget, if this was helpful, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments um, what your experience is, how you like it. If it's really made a major difference for how you operate, I'm really curious to hear from all of you. Again, there is more links, information, where you download it, documentation links, everything that you need to get started is down in the description below. Don't forget, you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, or X at K0LWC. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you again next time.